Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am unboxing my very first Trunk Club shipment. If you haven't heard of Trunk Club, it is a service similar to Stitch Fix. Um, it's basically a personal styling service through Nordstrom, and you sign up, they assign a stylist to you, you have a conversation with that person, and then they put together a trunk or a box full of clothes based on what you told them you are looking for, what you might be looking in terms of filling the gaps in your, in your closet, in your wardrobe, and um, I'm really excited to try it out. Now, full disclosure, I received this yesterday, and I already opened it, and I already tried a few pieces on because last night, we were going to um, a concert, we were going to an event, and I wasn't sure what I was gonna wear, and so I started digging through here to see if I could find something, and I actually did. I actually did find something that I'm going to keep. I wore it out to the concert last night, and, um, and it worked out great. So I have opened this, it's not a true unboxing, but I actually haven't tried into all of the pieces, and I haven't had a really good look at everything in this box. So I'm gonna open this up and, um, and get started, and we'll see, we'll see what my stylist, her name is Nicole, um, sent for me. So I basically told Nicole that I am a full-time yoga teacher. I spend a lot of time in the gym and in a sweaty yoga studio. And my biggest wardrobe problem is when it's time to go out to dinner or out to a social event or out to a concert or out somewhere that's not a gym and where yoga pants are not appropriate, um, I usually just don't have anything to wear. In fact, I sometimes skip social invitations and don't go out period because I don't know how to dress myself. That's kind of embarrassing, but um, truly my wardrobe has a lot of big gaps when it comes to just like getting dressed and going out and looking like a normal human being. So she put together a casual, like a casual going out, hanging out trunk. And the first thing that I found in my box is, let's see, it's this top. Let's see if I can get it straight here. Here we go. It's this top from um, Vince Camuto. It's a size small Vince Camuto cold shoulder style top. And when I'm putting it up to myself, I can see in the camera that I really do enjoy the color, but I'm not sure about the flowiness of the design. I'm just, I'm not that flowy of a person, contrary to how I may come across. I like things to be just a little bit cleaner and a little bit kind of smarter. Um, and I don't know, I haven't put this on my body yet. I'm anxious to see how it looks. I do like the color, and this, is, this color is definitely a departure from what I would normally reach for, but I'm glad she sent it. I'm interested to see how it looks uh, once it's on my body. Now, this next item I was really happy to see in the preview of my trunk. It is a denim skirt. It's from Levi's, and I think they call it their deconstructed denim skirt. It's really cute. It's kind of distressed. Um, I like the pockets in the back. It seems like it's gonna be a nice fit. The size is size 27, so hopefully, um, I often take a size 26, so hopefully this will fit me and it won't be too big. Um, but I'm gonna give this a try, and little story about the denim skirt is I have been a Stitch Fix subscriber kind of on and off for several years, and I finally got fed up with Stitch Fix um, over these last couple months for a few different reasons. I wasn't finding a lot of stuff that I liked, but one of the big things that irritated me was I asked my stylist at Stitch Fix again and again to please send me a denim skirt or two to try on for the summer. And I kept requesting it and they never sent me one. And she even sent me a note in my last box that said, I'm sorry I don't have a denim skirt, we just, I don't, we don't have one right now. Like what do you mean you don't have a denim skirt? It's a denim skirt, how hard can it be? It's summer, you know, you're a styling company and like a denim skirt. So I was really happy to see this in my trunk club. I'm looking forward to trying it on. It's a little bit pricey. I think it's in the $95 range, um, which is a little more than I wanna pay for a denim skirt, but if it's a hit, I will keep it for sure. Okay, this third item is the thing that when I saw the preview for this trunk, I was most excited about this. And I was surprised by how excited it was, by, I, by how excited I was. Um, but basically, it is a halter dress. And kind of it's hard to see it when it's not on a person. It's a halter dress with an open back and a tie in the back. And it's long, it's like a halter maxi dress and it has a slit 
um, in the side, which I don't know if you can really see. I saw the picture of this on the model. I thought it looked so elegant. I love the floral pattern. I love the design of the dress. And it's like $79, which to me is totally reasonable and affordable for something like this. I'm really looking forward to trying this on. Um, I kind of got it onto myself a little bit last night when I was trying to get out to that event and I think it's a little bit too long but I haven't tried it with shoes yet so um, I hope that this works because I was really excited I think this is very pretty oh and the brand by the way is ASTR ASTR I've never heard of that but I haven't heard of a lot of things so who knows okay and next we have another dress this is from the brand called Trouvé um, and it's kind of longish and it has um, a little tie that kind of wraps around the front near the hips and it's got a really kind of like casual summery vibe on my on my packing slip it says that this is the pink color but it looks pretty peachy to me um, but uh, I'll just tell you right now, this is actually what I ended up wearing to that event last night. I wasn't too impressed when I took it out of the box, but once I got it on, it's really beautiful. It's, it just flows beautifully, it hangs beautifully. I got a ton of compliments. I will try it on um, in a few minutes here, but this is actually the one thing that I for sure know that I am keeping from this box, a little dress by, by Trouvé. And um, she also sent me the same dress in a different color. It's kind of a taupey, a taupey gray version of this same dress. I am not as excited about this one. I think it looks a little bit more frumpy and not summery and a, a, a little bit drab. It's the same dress, but I'm not as crazy about it. Um, when I saw my trunk preview and she had put the pink or peach one in, I asked her, does it come in any other colors? Because I don't usually reach for pink and peach. And she says, yeah, I'll send you um, an additional color. And this is the one that she picked, but I actually ended up liking the peachy pinky one um, a lot better. Um, this is a top by, by the brand called uh, Joie or Joy or J-O-I-E. I don't know if it's French. I don't know how you say it, but it says soft. So that might be the line, soft. And I think the, the big brand is J-O-I-E. Joy? Joey? I don't know. Um, and it's kind of like a tank with a little bit of like a V in the front. It's like an army green color, like an olive color. Again, not probably my go-to color of choice, but I will give this a try and see how I like it. When I looked at the packing slip, this seemed like it was pretty expensive. In fact, I'm going to reach over right now and see how much that is. According to my packing slip, that is $128. So I'm already pretty sure it's a no. It's not jumping out at me. I gotta wait till I get it on me, but $128, and I'm already kind of like, ee, maybe not so much. Um, and here is another <laughs> very expensive top that um, was included in in my box. And this is just basic, like a basic white shell. And it has a cutout kind of back, like a cutout, like large keyhole, I guess, in the back. And so it's a basic white shell. It's like, it's a basic staple. Um, it's size extra small, and it is from the brand uh, Classiques, Classiques Antier. I guess that must be French. I don't really speak French, but I'm doing the best I can. I and mean, then it says created from fine European fabric. Like what exactly does that mean? Fine, like is it $150 worth of fine Euro European fabric? I don't know. It says it's made in China. Um, I don't know, I guess I gotta get it on. I am actually looking for something like this, but this needs to like change my life and make my body look rockin' for $150. So let's just wait and see on this one. I do need something like this, but the price has got me a little bit like clutching, clutching my pearls. So, so let's, let's wait and see. Okay, and there are two more items left. So next thing I'm seeing is something that she threw in kind of as a surprise. I didn't have this in my preview, but I had declined something else. And so she added this in. Um, and this is a skirt by the brand Madewell. Um, it's a size 2 Madewell skirt, and let's see if it says anything else about it. Not really. I don't know what to call it. I'm not 
talented enough to kind of know how to describe the pattern. Um, but it is cute. I don't know that this is my style necessarily, but I'm looking forward to trying it on and it was a fun surprise to see this in my, in my trunk. Okay, and lastly, last thing I'm pulling out of this box is kind of a, like a jacket, like a blazer. Um, and this is also from the brand Truve. And it's that same olive taupey brown that I just, I don't know, like I don't feel attractive in this color. So I think that's the feedback I'm gonna have to give my stylist, who is awesome by the way. She's um, super friendly and I think actually kind of gets me, but I, I should tell her like the olive brown taupey beige is not, I just don't feel sexy or good in, um, in colors like this. But I will try it on and maybe it'll surprise me. Probably not, <laughs> um, but maybe. So um, those were the pieces that were in my box. I'm gonna try them on for you now. This is my first time doing a clothing haul um, unboxing try on, so bear with me, I'll do the best I can, um, and we'll just see, we'll see what we see. Okay, so this is the Cold Shoulder Top by Vince Camuto. And I have to be honest, I like it more than I thought I would. What I like about it is the color, with my skin tone and my hair. I, I don't know how I feel about the cold shoulder trend. It's definitely a trend. Um, it's not a super expensive top, but I don't know, am I gonna wear this? What do you think? I'm kind of on the fence on this one. Let me know in the comments below if you have an opinion. Um, I do kind of like it. I think it's kind of pretty. Um, I'm not sure, like, the armholes just kind of weird me out. Sorry to cut off my head, but like I said, I'm figuring out this whole try on thing. Okay, and next up is the very expensive, like basic white shell from the Classiques Antier brand or whatever. And honestly, uh, I do kind of like it. My bra is kind of not the one I want for this, but um, I do kind of like it. I think it looks smart. I think it's a great basic piece. I still have a hard time imagining myself paying $150 for this. Like what if I spill something and then it's just done? But I mean, I do think it flatters my figure. I do think I could get kind of um, a lot of wear out of it. So I'm on the fence with this. I like the sort of just simple classic, like I could just wear this with nothing over it and a pair of black jeans like I have right now. Um, and just like add a little necklace and look, I think, put together and cute. So, oh, I don't know, I don't know. It's a big investment, but this is such a basic piece and I could wear it so many different ways that maybe it's actually worth investing in. So this is that, the Simple White Shell, $148. This is the most expensive thing um, in my whole trunk. So I don't know what to do. Okay, next up is this kind of, silky, blazery, soft jacket from Truve. I like that it has pockets in it. I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't like how wrinkly and like floppy it feels. I, I just feel floppy in it. Um, and it's also, I think, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit longer than I think I want to. I think I'm, I'm five foot four and I think it's gonna make me look short, but it's, Again, it's, not, it's better than I thought it would be, but I don't think I would wear this until the fall, and I just, I don't like how it kind of all flops around here in the front, so I might skip this one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna skip this one, although, like I said, once I've got it on me, I, I do like it better than, than I initially thought that I would. So go figure, my stylist is, my stylist is smart, she's smart. Okay, next thing I have is this um, kind of tank top blouse by Soft or Joey or Joey or Joey um, Soft brand. And it's okay, it's okay, I don't love it. I don't love it $130 worth of love it. And it's that color that, I mean, it's okay, I think on my skin tone, but I just don't feel attractive in these kind of brown, taupey, olivey, blah colors, so I'm gonna pass. If it was less expensive, no, I think I'm just gonna pass. I just I just don't care for it overall, so 
thumbs down for this one. Like, not way down, but thumbs down-ish for this one. Okay, the next item is this Levi's brand um, deconstructed denim skirt. I do like this. I think it fits me really well. I like the length of it. Um, I like the little distressing. It's not too much. It still looks put together, but it's just got um, a little bit of character. And um, the price is $96, and honestly, I think I will get a ton of wear out of this. So I am a thumbs up on the denim skirt. So you can just check it out real quick. And for me, this is a winner, and I totally need this in my wardrobe. So yay, winner, winner, denim skirt, woohoo. Okay, and here is the skirt by Madewell. And it is made well, and it does fit well. It actually fits quite well, and I think it's pretty cute. So um, I probably won't keep this. It's not really in my style. Like, I just, I don't wear skirts that often, and I don't have the occasion to wear skirts that often. But I do think she did a great job of picking this out, and I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment below. I don't know. I need help, obviously, with clothes, but I do like how it fits. I do think the pattern's really cute. It does feel very comfortable. It's an $88 skirt, um, and I just don't know if I'm going to get $88 worth of wear, but I do like it. I do think it's cute. I, I really think my stylist is a super smart lady and that she kind of knocked it out of the park in terms of fit um, and just having good taste. So good skirt, don't know if I'm gonna keep it. Not sure, help me out people, help me. <laughs> okay, and this is one item I know I will be keeping. I like this, this is that kind of pink dress with the drapey knot from Trouvé. I've already worn this out. I received a lot of compliments. I styled it with some cute jewelry and some cute sandals. And this one for me is definitely a winner. I am a fan um, and I love the color. I think the color is really flattering on my skin tone with my hair color. So huge thumbs up, only $79. I feel like every dress I ever got from Stitch Fix was like way over $79 and not nearly this nice or this cute. So this one is here to stay. And here's that same dress in the second color. And I just, I don't think it's nearly as pretty. I think it looks way more casual, kind of frumpy, kind of, I don't know, maybe a little maternity-esque. Um, so this one's a no, but I'm really glad that the pink one is a yay. So here's the second color. Maybe this is someone's style. It's just a little bit less mine, I think. Okay, and last but not least, this is the dress that I was crossing my fingers for. And I just think it's really beautiful. I love the silhouette it creates. I love the halter top. I love the floral pattern. I think it's really figure flattering. Um, I like the back of it with the little tie and the, um, and the open back. The only problem is, and you can't see this on camera, but I have my highest heels on and it still drags on the floor. So um, is it worth it to get it hemmed? It's, a, it's an $80 dress. I don't even know how much it costs to get a dress hemmed. I don't know if I can bring this into Nordstrom or like what to do with it, but I just think it's so pretty. And I actually have an event coming up in a couple of weeks that this would be perfect for. The price is right. I just, I think it it's very me. And oh, I think I have to keep it and I just need to figure out what's the best way to get it hemmed properly so I can so I can wear it again and again. So big thumbs up. And again, this dress is by um, ASTR, ASTR, that's the brand. So oh, I have a lot of hard decisions to make on this trunk club. Okay, everyone, that is it for my first trunk club unboxing and try on. I hope this was helpful, especially if you're considering um, doing a service like this. Um, I don't know how clearly all the brands and prices and things came across in this recording, so I will link everything below with prices, um, with brand names, and I will also put a link to my stylist below. Her name is Nicole. She is 
I think, I just think that this woman knows what she's doing because I can't pick out clothes for the life of me and I think even though not everything was specifically to my taste, she got the fit perfect. She gave me some really good ideas that maybe I would not have picked out on my own and um, I would highly recommend that if you're going to try Trunk Club, maybe you try it through her. She was great on the phone. She was super responsive. Um, within 24 hours of talking to her, I had my first trunk preview. My trunk came through UPS a few days later um, and I think it's just a really Really smart service. I, I like this way better than Stitch Fix so far and I have no idea what I'm going to purchase so when I make my final decisions and I have five days to do that when I make my final decisions I will be linking um, or adding I guess to the info box below what I purchased and what the prices were. In the meantime if you have any comments, hopefully they're constructive, any feedback on what I should or shouldn't keep, what looks good, what doesn't look good, please let me know. I'm only myself and we all have our blinders. It's hard to tell what you look like sometimes. Um, so another perspective from anyone watching would be nice as long as it's constructive because I'm new on the YouTube, I'm not the best with clothes and I would just, some feedback that's like sincere would be great. Um, thank you so much for watching. See you again on my channel soon. Again, it's mostly Disney and planners, but I hope to do another Trunk Club unboxing one day soon as well. Bye. Suki. <laughs> Are you in mommy's chair? Suki. Suki. Are you going to film a video? Huh? Are you going to try on some clothes? Silly kitty.